Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places.
and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Saul, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Now the Bible I had said on the right hand or on the forehead, I looked at that and I said, praise God, I didn't do it. I wasn't a part of it. Oh, isn't that good? And the Lord said, look at the word mark. And I said, but Lord, he said, look it up in the Greek. And I've got the pages from the Strong's Concordance here so that you can look it up yourself. The word mark is chiragma in the Greek. And it's 5480 in the, in the Strong's Concordance in the, in the Greek. And it says a scratch, an etching, a stamp, as a badge of servitude, or cut into. It takes you to the word charax, which is to sharpen to a point the idea of scratching, a stake, a pointed object, pointed into. I believe what John saw as Jesus was giving him the book of Revelation, I believe what he saw was a hypodermic needle, and I'm going to tell you why. Because in the meetings that I have been in, meetings in Luxembourg, meetings in London, meetings at the Sir Francis Drake Hotel in San Francisco with a lot of these people, I've been in 17 of these One World type meetings, the, the whole idea behind it is identification. They ruled me and they used lithium. One of the doctors at my Boston Medical Center about the concentration of lithium used in the microchip. I said, what happens if that breaks down? If the chip breaks down, if there's a blow struck and it breaks down? He said, and this guy was an atheist. He said, it'll cause a sore, a, you know, a grievous sore. And I went and I looked at Revelation 16, verse 2. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped the image. I want to point out something to you folks. That sore is singular. It's sore. They didn't break out with sores. They broke out with a sore. The straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him, and he with me.